Hey, thank you, Kel. It is 431, about to turn 432 on this Tuesday morning. There was another eruption from Kilauea about an hour ago, and that sent an ash cloud headed towards the southwest. People in the area advised to stay indoors if possible. You are now taking a live look from Puna. That's where lava it continues to spew from fissures in the ground. Take a look at the lava. It's like a curtain. Uh, Madame Pele is continuing and showing no signs of stopping or even slowing down at this time. Now, meanwhile, there is a new reason for concern on Hawaii Island as that volcanic emergency continues. The lava, it is now on the property of Puna Geothermal Venture. This is new video showing just how close the lava has gotten. Many are scared that if the lava hits the plant, there could be an explosion or a release of toxic steam. Civil Defense says that 10 out of 11 wells uh, there, they have been quenched, and that means that they have been filled with cold water. Howard Dashevsky, he's got the latest from Hawaii Island. This photo shows just how close the lava came. Of course, there's no telling when or if the lava will reach the plant. But officials are not taking any chances and are taking action now. Crews have been working on shutting down the plant's wells. The first step is something called quenching. Quenching the wells means filling them full of cold water so that the uh, weight of the cold water sitting in the pipe, the long pipe, is sufficient that instead of hot water entering the bottom of the well, cold water exits the bottom of the well. Once that process is completed, they'll begin the process of plugging the wells. Uh, there's several things that have been proposed to plug the well. A uh, well can be plugged with special types of mud that get very hot when they're in the, or when they are heated up, get very, very stiff and hard and can plug the well. You can plug the well with a plug, an iron plug. Uh, and there are probably many others. Although he says he's confident in the plan of attack that his team is embarking on, he admits that they are entering somewhat uncharted territory. We have, I have uh, researched this, and uh, uh, again, I'm not going to overstate my knowledge. I have found no case in which lava has overrun a, a well that, that, uh, uh, has been shut down like these have been. And of course, there's no telling where the lava will go and what it might do when or if it reaches the plant. Now, the big concern is if lava does reach the wells, it could trigger the release of hydrogen sulfide. That is another very toxic gas. So, civil defense is working with county police, National Guard, and everybody else to make sure that if something like that does happen, the public will be notified. And of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on things here from civil defense in the Big Island. I'm Howard Dushevsky reporting. We send it back to you.